In the year 2002, I was no-knock raided by the Chief of Police, Michael Moore, of LAPD with an entire SWAT team twice in the same month. Since that date, I began studying the history of America and constitutional law. I am an autodidactic constitutional law scholar. Over the past couple years, what I've done is I've been able to devise a system, understanding that the police have created a very rigid set of policies, procedures, and protocols that they use to arrest you. I've also created a very rigid set of policies, procedures, and protocols for you to follow that gives you back the power when you're forced to interact with these jackboot thug pigs. It has become a tyrannical jackboot thug police state, prison state, death state. I will win the governorship and I will change the policies from the top down. Hi, I'm Corporal Wayne with the Osaki County Sheriff's Office. The reason I pulled you over is you don't have any taillights on. So, cops got me pulled over. First thing I'm gonna do when I start recording is I'm gonna put this hand right here. You see that? You see how that works? This hand is now up in the air. My camera is gonna bright up the sky. So if it's nighttime, then the coppers can see that the camera is in my hand. You can see that my hand is here. The other hand goes up into the window. I'm in touchdown position right here. My hands look like they're a goalpost. This hand is actually, I took my little miniature armrest right here. I put it up right here, bam. This is how I use my trifold. If anything happens to me, I'm all set right here. Okay, now, now that I got this like this, my camera's rolling, most important thing. Second thing, my elbow goes in the windowsill right there. Do you see that? My elbow goes in the windowsill right there. There it is, right there. Now, with this hand up in the air and this hand up in the windowsill right here, I'm all set, I'm all set. The most I'm gonna do is take the same hand right here, reach down and slightly roll my window down just a scooch. I'm all set up, I'm in touchdown position. This hand is rolling camera, this hand is up here so that I can reach up and grab my trifold and my proof of identification and my license. Everything is up in my visor. When that copper comes up to my window and he says, do you know I pulled you over? You know how fast you were going? How come you didn't pull over right away? If he says, hey, can I get your license, registration, and proof of insurance? Great, because this hand is not gonna have a camera in it, the one that I got my hand in now. My camera's in this My camera's in this hand over here. I'm in touchdown position, just like a goalpost. Now, from right here, I'm gonna reach over, and I'm gonna, with the same hand that this phone's in, I'm gonna reach over and grab my license, registration, and proof of insurance that is in my trifold right here. It's inside my trifold. Here's my license, registration, and proof of insurance right there. I got everything right there. See how that works? I'm just gonna slide that bad chicken out. There's everything I have to provide by law right there. License, registration, proof of insurance. I have everything right next to my trifold. Now, no matter what he says from there, I don't care what he says. How fast were you going? Are you going to your grandma's house? Are you the big bad wolf? No matter what he says, I'm not gonna answer any of his questions. I take my license, registration, proof of insurance that will be in my left hand and I give it to him. <laughs> you got it on There's video? That's not your actual. No, that's not that, but that's got my DL number right on the top. Okay. D 1940. So you have your actual driver's license? Well, I mean, that is an actual photocopy of my driver's license, a laser copy, actually. If I take the rest of the tape off there, it looks prettier than my actual driver's license. Tape, well, I can take the tape, tape off of it, though, if you need me yeah, to. You want me to take that the tape off? Sure. sure, man. No problem, dude. Latino to Latino, dude. Huh? There you go. I don't want to deal with he didn't identify himself. He didn't have his registration. He didn't have his current ID. He didn't have his current insurance card. No, no, no. I have everything ready to go. It's right here with the same hand right here. I'm going to take it like this and I'm just going to slip my information right out the cracked window for that Jack Boot Thug Pig. Put it in the comment section. JBTP, Jack Boot Thug Pig. Put it in the comment section. I don't have a back and forth with the pig. I don't do that. I do not have a back and forth with that pig. Where are you going? Where are you heading? All that? No, 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 no. I'm not going to answer any questions. I'm not even going to entertain it. Not going to nod. Nothing. I'm going to give him my license, registration, proof of insurance. I'm just going to slip it right there. That's how it's going to work. Here's my, here's my license, my registration, and my proof of insurance. Here's the insurance. Here's the rental car agreement and my driver's license is right here. If you're poor and white or black or brown, don't reach around because you could die.
It's a real thing. It's a reality here. So now I'm not going to get myself killed because I didn't follow a very rigid set of policies, procedures, and protocols. I'm recording everything with my phone from over here. Everything's being recorded. You see that? The phone is facing me. So my head is the most important thing. Now, once I've given him my license, registration, proof of insurance, I'm filming everything. He asked me where I'm going. I say I invoke my Fifth Amendment right to remain silent. Okay. If you ask me another question, you're violating my rights and I'll file a lawsuit against you. Write your ticket, do what you're gonna do, but don't harass me any further. Your Honor, I'm showing him on camera that I'm invoking my Fifth Amendment right to remain silent. Piggy loses qualified immunity for questioning me. Say it with me. Piggy loses qualified immunity for questioning me. This is how it goes. This is the way it is. Now, if he says, where are you going? Where are you coming from? Do you have a firearm in the car? I'm then gonna take my trifold and point at it and I'm gonna go down the list of questions. Don't ask me where I'm going. Don't ask me where I'm been. Don't ask me what my favorite color is. Don't ask me if I have a firearm. Don't ask me if I've been drinking. It says everything right there on your freaking trifold. You don't have to answer any questions. He says, where are you coming from? And I say, Your Honor, I have shown the pig at the window that I clearly have identified that I've invoked my Fifth Amendment and he already asked me where I'm going. He's violated my Fifth Amendment, right? I'm showing him on video. It's on the literature. Your Honor, this is for my federal civil rights lawsuit. If I was you, pig, I would just go write your ticket. That's what I would do if I was you, pig. Get okay. the hell out of my face. There's everything you need. Go on. That's what I would, if I was you, piggy, I would go and write your ticket. This is how it works. This is how you use your trifold completely. This is the way you do it. There's no other way that I've taught. This is how you do it. Phone goes here. Elbow goes here. Trifold. Identification. Everything is up in the visor here. I'm ready to go. These boot licking troll channels, they sat down and they did the math one time and they said, well, Chile, if he, if he's, if he sells 20 trifolds in a day, that's some pretty good money. Why would he live so poor? Why wouldn't he spend some money? Why wouldn't he go and do some things? Well, you jack off nobody. It's because I have a mission. There's a purpose here. My purpose is to get a trifold in every single car in America. The mission is to get the Fifth Amendment cop cards in everybody's wallet. The yellow and blue cards only come out when there's a pig in front of you. That's when the yellow and blue cards come out. You don't pull the yellow and blue cards out until there's a pig in front of you. You memorize the cards so you know it backwards and forward. But this is how you do it. This is how you do it. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the new redesigned Fifth Amendment cop card. Now the driver card is in blue and the non-driver card is in yellow. Now they're easily color coded. So you know driving is blue, non-driving is yellow. You have to have a pair of Fifth Amendment cop cards in your wallet at all times. If you carry your credit cards in your phone, it's the exact same size as your visa, as your driver's license. And these cards, they're made out of the exact same material as a hotel key, your visa card, your driver's license. They don't destroy. It won't melt in your wallet. You need to have a Fifth Amendment driver and non-driver cop card in your wallet. These are the best gift you'll ever give anybody. Thanks. My name is Chili DeCastro, and I am Delete Laws.